It takes a while to get it going. I train to do this every day for a living. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always doing stuff that I don't do. I mean, I'm, do I'm doing stuff that I've done, you know, actually. The only uh, invention that comes out is to challenge it, you know, different kind of water. And <laughs> just sitting here wrestling with the wheel. <laughs> Wonder if you're going to have a heart attack right now. Really, you know. <laughs> <laughs> <Something> serious. <laughs> so any kind of invention might come out of that. You know. I doubt if I'm going to invent anything to do with this one. But I'm making stuff so that uh, you can see how to put things together, basically. And I just, you know, like how to make two pieces of clay stick together, which is a problem sometimes. <laughs> but you'll see. So it stay together, you know. Play that sticks together stays together. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a nice bowl. It's not water bowl. But your bowl. Nice water bowl. <laughs> I guess I, well, if I have time tomorrow, I'll make some, uh, well, basically, it's just, well, from all this stuff, you can make teapots and stuff like that. You make a big teapot out of that. <laughs> cool, you know, things like that. Um, have you been basically a fun water? A witch? <laughs> A fun potter? Did you say fun or fun? Have you ever thrown any uh, functional pottery? Oh, functional. No, this is all functional. Uh, you mean per se? Per se? <laughs> Uh, I always think of myself as a very functional person. <laughs> you know, I um, <clears throat> everything I do, uh, I need. You know, that sort of trip. You know, uh, I don't uh, make uh, too many things for you know, like uh, for uh, you know, product. Or I used to make a lot of stuff. You know. Uh, for sale kind of things? You know what I mean? Like dishes, sets? <laughs> sets? That's sort of like a set. You know? I mean, if you start thinking about it, this could be a set. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's all a head trip, you know, really. I mean, shit, I mean, you know. Uh, it's all the same. Depends on uh, uh, where your head's at, you know. Uh, this isn't any different to me than making the ten teapots or coffee mugs or whatever it is. You know. <coughs> Same kind of thing. It, it's got to be. It's got to be interesting to you. You're, you know, you got to get something out of it. And I can't depend on any other person buying my stuff and getting kicks out of it. And I'm supposed to feel good about it that they like it. That doesn't work, you know. So. Uh, I have to like it, you know. Like I said earlier, I just for the reason I do it, I can't think of anything else to do. There's nothing else I'd rather do, you know, at that particular time. So I just wash my head out, and that's it, you know, and just say, "Shit, that's it." I mean, I have to communicate, you know. It's a piece of mud sitting there, and what do you do, you know? It's going a big trip. Sort of like smoking dope and things like that. Drinking. But that's, uh, it uh, gets me down to reality, sort of. You know what I mean? I don't either, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, you know, I gotta get a kick out of it. I have, I have a lot of fun doing stuff. And if it's no fun, then it's a, it's a drag, it's a job.
And uh, then I would look for something else. <coughs> there was a, I used to go to church, things like that. <coughs> it was all right for a while. Until they caught me robbing a goddamn plate, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I got kicked out. <laughs> No, it's good to rob people's heads. It's a pretty good thing. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, having a job as a social irritant is, is kind of nice. You know, <laughs> it's good for a while. <laughs> yeah. It uh, makes people think about themselves. That's the main thing. Get down to where your head, you know, where you, you feel yourself as a, as a person that can make decisions. And things, you know, it's kind of nice. <laughs> That's where it's all at. You know, uh, it's amazing how many people go through school and they still have to find, find themselves. Well, hey, you can't expect to anyway. That sort of time. I, I was out of school about five or six years before I felt the. the that I was some sort of person I could make decisions and think, you know. That's a long time, you know. I was pretty old at that time. Perhaps I was about 50 then. <laughs> so I'm going backwards, sort of. Where'd you go to school? Well, I'll tell you, uh, I mean, where'd I learn anything or where'd I actually go to school? Where'd I mat matriculate? <laughs> I started doing that when I was about six. <laughs> no, I <don't>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I went to Montana. I, 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 was, a, I was studying agriculture there. Uh, sheep. Uh, <laughs> and then a new kind of sheep dip. <laughs> a lot of things, you know, and uh, depends, you know, like uh, teaching school is a hard thing, you know, like uh, trying to get people uh, turned on to themselves in a couple, three years, so, you yeah, know, it's kind of hard. Uh, but uh, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't know how to do it. I was making, uh, I was making neat plates and stuff. Putting uh, fish on, yeah. Sold to the fishermen of Montana. Put deer on, jumping over logs. <laughs> I don't think I started learning until I started teaching school, actually. And uh, which is sort of weird. Then I, uh, some guy turned me on. He was, uh, actually, uh, I. Uh, I started, I, I got interested in music a little bit, you know, and I had a teacher, <coughs> a teacher that made a hell of a lot of sense. I was, I was trying to learn how to play the guitar, which is sort of insane, you know, uh, banana hands, speak to me, I'll find you, you know, you know anyway, this, uh, I had this guy, really, really turned, it, turned me on to myself, you know, and uh, he was just a musician, you know, it's so strange. Well, you know, all at once you start beginning to think, you know. But uh, most of the stuff I took in school, uh, maybe it was sort of <coughs> you know, leading up to something. But, uh, I was teaching school already at that time, and I, uh, I just turned weird, you know. <laughs> uh, I've been weird ever since. <laughs> But uh, I, I really got turned on onto making pottery through uh, studying music, of all things. So I keep telling my students, go study music. And <laughs> 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 come back and take pottery. But it, it's sort of a strange sort of set of circumstances.